ever felt like you're stuck in a fog with everything seeming gray and hopeless? That's a small glimpse into what depression can feel like. It's crucial to understand that depression, dear friends, is more than just a passing mood. It's not a fleeting sadness that comes and goes with a bad day, no. It's a persistent feeling like a shadow that lingers even in the brightest of sunshine. Depression is a real medical condition that affects not just the mind, but also the body. It's like a flu of the soul, draining your energy, your enthusiasm, and your ability to take pleasure in life. It's a silent battle that millions fight every day, often behind a smile. You see, depression doesn't always look like what we imagine. It's not always the tear-stained face or the unkempt hair. Sometimes it's the quiet person in the room, the one who seems to have it all together. And let's debunk a few common misconceptions about depression, shall we? First, it's not a sign of weakness. Just as a person can't will themselves out of having asthma or diabetes, one can't simply snap out of depression. It's not a matter of not trying hard enough or not being strong enough. It's a complex interplay of genetic, biological, environmental and psychological factors. Second, depression is not the same as being sad, although sadness can be a part of it. It's a profound sense of despair and hopelessness that seeps into every aspect of life. And third, depression is not a life sentence. While it's true that for some people depression can be a long-term illness, it's also true that many people experience periods of wellness between episodes of depression and with the right treatment and support, most people with depression can lead full and productive lives. Depression can be a heavy burden to bear, but remember you are not alone and there are ways to lift the fog. Let's navigate this journey together, shedding light on the darkness and finding hope in the midst of despair. Did you know that moving your body can help clear your mind? Now, I'm not suggesting that you need to run a marathon or lift weights like an Olympian. No, far from it. What I'm talking about is simple, everyday movements that can help lift your mood and ease the symptoms of depression. Let's start with the morning. As the sun peaks over the horizon, there's nothing quite like a good stretch to wake up the body. Reach your arms up high, arch your back, and feel the gentle pull in your muscles. This not only helps to loosen up stiff muscles, but also gets your blood flowing and wakes up your brain. As we move into the afternoon, a brisk walk can do wonders. Whether you're strolling around your local park or simply walking around your living room, the goal is to get your heart rate slightly elevated. This releases endorphins, which are often referred to as feel-good hormones. They can help to combat feelings of sadness and anxiety, making you feel happier and more relaxed. As the day winds down, dancing to your favorite song can be a fun way to end the day. You don't need to be a professional dancer. Simply moving to the rhythm of the music can help to de-stress and unwind. The combination of music and movement can be incredibly therapeutic and helps to boost your mood. The key is consistency. It's not about how much you do, but rather about making these simple exercises a part of your daily routine. And remember, it's okay to start small. Even a few minutes of movement can make a difference to how you feel. It's important to note that while exercise can help manage depression, it is not a standalone solution. It's one tool in your toolbox, meant to be used alongside other strategies like therapy, medication, and a healthy diet. Exercise is not a cure-all, but it can be a powerful tool in your fight against depression. So let's get moving, and together, we'll navigate this journey towards better mental health. What you put in your body can affect what goes on in your mind. When we think about fighting depression, we often consider factors like therapy or exercise, but the food we eat plays an equally significant role. Our diet can have a profound impact on our mental health and making the right food choices can help manage depression symptoms. Imagine your body as an engine and food as the fuel. To ensure your engine runs smoothly, you need to use high quality fuel. This is where a balanced diet comes in, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. These foods are packed with essential nutrients that our brains need to function optimally, like omega-3 fatty acids, B vitamins, and antioxidants. Let's start with fruits and vegetables. They're a powerhouse of vitamins and minerals, and their high fiber content helps in maintaining a steady blood sugar level, preventing mood swings. Whole grains, such as brown rice, oatmeal, and whole grain bread, are excellent sources of complex carbohydrates, which help to regulate serotonin, a neurotransmitter responsible for maintaining mood balance. 
Lean proteins, like fish, chicken and tofu, provide us with amino acids, which are the building blocks of neurotransmitters. Eating a diet rich in lean proteins can help our brains produce more of the chemicals that keep us feeling good. However, while we're adding these mood-boosting foods to our diet, it's equally important to be mindful of what we should avoid. Foods high in sugar can cause spikes and crashes in blood sugar, leading to mood swings. Similarly, while caffeine might seem like a good pick-me-up, it can actually increase anxiety and interfere with sleep, making depression symptoms worse. So, as you plan your meals, think about what you're feeding your mind as well as your body. A diet that's good for your physical health is also likely to be good for your mental health. Remember, feeding your body right can help feed your mind right too. Living with depression can be tough, but there are strategies that can help. It's like navigating a labyrinth. Sometimes the path is clear, other times it's shrouded in shadows. But never forget, you're not alone. There are tools you can use and people who want to help you find the way out. Firstly, set achievable goals for yourself. These don't have to be grand or monumental. They can be as simple as getting out of bed, taking a shower or going for a short walk. It's the small victories that will help you regain your confidence and control. Next, surround yourself with supportive people. They could be friends, family or even support groups. It's important to have people who understand what you're going through and who can offer a listening ear or a comforting word. Remember, it's okay to lean on others when you're feeling down. Try to engage in activities that you enjoy. It might be painting, playing a musical instrument or just reading a good book. These activities can provide a much needed distraction and also give you a sense of accomplishment. Don't forget to take care of your physical health. Regular exercise and a healthy diet can work wonders for your mood and energy levels. It's a cycle of self-care. The better you feel physically, the better you'll feel emotionally. And lastly, don't hesitate to seek professional help if you're feeling overwhelmed. Therapists, counsellors and doctors are there to help you navigate this labyrinth. They can provide you with more tools and strategies to manage your depression. There's no shame in seeking help. In fact, it's a sign of strength and self-awareness. Always remember, it's okay to have bad days. It's okay to feel lost sometimes. But also remember, you're stronger than you think and you're capable of overcoming this. The labyrinth may seem confusing and endless, but there's always a way out. Coping with depression is a journey and it's okay to ask for help along the way. If you're struggling with depression, we want you to know there is hope. Let me share with you some stories that may inspire you. Just like you, these individuals grappled with the same darkness and emerged stronger. There's the story of Jane, a woman who once found herself unable to rise from her bed due to the weight of her despair. But today, Jane is a renowned author, using her experience with depression to craft stories that resonate with many, helping them feel less alone in their struggles. There's also Tom, a young man who found solace in painting. His depression once made the world seem colourless, but he turned his pain into art. Today, his vibrant canvases are exhibited in galleries, his journey of healing inspiring countless others. And there's Lily, a mother of three, who battled postpartum depression. She felt like she was drowning, but she reached out for help, sought treatment, and slowly she started to see the light again. Today, she runs a support group for women facing the same struggles, guiding them towards hope and healing. These stories, your story, are testaments to the resilience of the human spirit. They are proof that even when depression makes the world seem like a dark, endless tunnel, there is always a flicker of light at the end of it. Remember that everyone's journey is unique. It's okay to move at your own pace. There's no rush, there's no right or wrong way to heal. There's just your way, and that's perfectly okay. You are not alone in this. There are people who care, people who understand, people who want to help. Reach out to them, let them in. Don't lose sight of hope. It's there, even when it feels like it isn't. It's there in every sunrise, in every breath you take, in every step you make towards healing. Remember, even in the midst of a storm, the sun still shines above the clouds. You are stronger than your depression and brighter days await.